Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> Welcome back to Yomit. A little special video on afternoon tea. Uh, I've been to one afternoon tea, but today uh, we're at Fortnum and Mason. I've got a few friends with me, so let's introduce uh, Faz. Oh, he's taking a picture. There you go. Hello. International tea expert and afternoon tea expert. And then we've got Anir, who uh, first time, second time, uh, first, first, first time afternoon tea. afternoon tea. So it's been interesting. It's amazing. It Dressed for the occasion as well uh, in the well, shirt. Yeah, I, I didn't know what to wear. It looks really good. I like the piano. The piano is great. Yeah, the piano is good. <laughs> right, we're trying to do our best high class accents. Anir? Um, well, I'm not quite sure what they're quite looking for, but uh, I'd like a cup of tea and skins, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the Fordham and Mason tea list serving the world's tea since 1707. Right, so just ordered our afternoon tea, which was a bit more complicated than we thought because we had to choose our tea as well. In the end, we got the stronger tea, which was the Royal Blend. Royal Blend, yeah. Royal Blend or something. Yeah. Faisal did history, so he's a, he's a historian and an afternoon tea expert, so Faisal explain this uh, royal blend. Why, well, I will certainly do that Matthew. The tea that we are indulging ourselves in today is the royal blend tea associated with his royal majesty, King Edward VII, who was the eldest son of Queen Victoria and his royal highness Prince Albert, so called Saxburg. It's a little history lesson whilst we're having our afternoon tea. Cool story mate. Yes! <laughs> Right, let's cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. As always, with afternoon tea, I've got to put your like, pinky up. My dad drinks tea like that. I feel, feel rather posh, but it's got to be And we've got three different ones. We've got two sweet and then one savory as well. Um, it looks pretty good. There's scones, cakes, and sandwiches. So we're we'll digging. More tea, Matthew. More tea, please. I think I will. Oops, I forgot to put the thing in. <laughs> you did that last right. time. That's the, the first mistake. You forgot to put the, what do you call that? The sieve. The sieve. <laughs> I'm sure it's not called that, but yeah, you forgot to put the oh, sieve. Tea strainer, is it? Tea strainer. Finger sandwich, coronation chicken. That's really good. So this has got like um lightly curried chicken on a uh, seeded bread. Second one we're trying is the salmon on some kind of looks like chocolate bread, but I don't think it is. Oh, tastes like malted bread this one. And then the salmon is really soft and light. So the next one we've got is egg and cress on some white bread with. Some little poppy seeds, it looks like, which looks pretty good. Flavour is very light and subtle. It tastes the yolk that comes through. Totally forgot to mention this, but everything is refillable. So you can just eat as much as you want. Just having the last two sandwiches, we've got ham. The final one, light little cucumber sandwich. It's quite refreshing with cream cheese, but it's not my favourite. It's time for the main event, the scones. I've got the savoury ones. So, anir has got the savoury uh, scones I over there. I don't know there. what this is, can someone tell me what this is? I think it's some like pate thing, but it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's crab, I think I read crab pate or something. Yeah. So the sweet scones, one plain and then one with raisins in it. Take the one with the raisin. We've got the clotted cream here, lemon curd and then strawberry jam. So, strawberry jam. Look at that, clotted cream. So this is like a heart attack in a bowl. Looks good, but seriously, it's, uh, it's not too good for you, so not, not too much of this stuff. Stone is good, man. I think I slightly overdid it with the clove cream, but <laughs> I feel it going down my veins. I think mean, you need to finish it with some tea because it's quite 
Oh, bye, so worth claggy in the mouth. This is just beautiful. It's really good at Fulham and Mason because the waiters come around, they ask you, oh, do you want a refill, do you want a refill? So we just got some more scones, so we're going to get some more sandwiches later. So yeah, we're basically cooking out today. So, so far, I would say the sandwich, I like the coronation chicken one, probably the best. And the scones are just, just amazing. So what do you make of the savoury ones? There are two uh, pâtés that come with it. There is one that's like um, an oniony, delicate, sweet, sort of oniony taste, which is really nice. And there's this one um, that's basically made of very strong French cheese. Quite strong. It's not really my palate, but um, definitely go for the second one. And the scones are nice. It's, 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 <laughs> I've got my tea ready just to wash it down in case I don't like the flavour. Right, on to my third sweet scone. Mm, there we go. Mm. Gonna go in with the chocolate. Mm. That is so chocolatey. Right, this is a chocolate roulade with cream and it looks like raspberry jam. Oh, that's cherry jam. I don't really like cherry jam though. This one's like half a macaroon with some orange thing. It's got some mousse in it. That's not bad. And the final one on this little sweet plate. And it's got like some cake, some mousse, covered with like jelly. There's a marshmallow. Not a fan of that. Overall pretty decent. So apart from the um, the free trays we got, they also give more cake, so they asked us. And then we got three different ones to share, so we got a Battenberg, traditional English Battenberg. Uh, we got a raspberry and coconut cake, and then we also got a chocolate and caramel Christmas cake as well. She's bringing them over now. It's not amazing. High on sugar. Try a bit of the uh, coconut cake. Coconut and raspberry. Mmm. I love the icing. The icing is good. Chocolate and caramel log. Wow, that's, that caramel is strong. It's kind of like bitter, the caramel. Chocolate lovers. This is the one. This is what it is when you have a sugar overload, a sugar high. My head is just buzzing right now. Right, so we've come to the conclusion. We've uh, pretty much eaten most of the stuff now. It's my first experience of afternoon tea, so I don't really have anything to compare it to. I've got to say, the, the ambience, the pianist, the food, it's really filling. I thought it was a uh, brilliant experience from start to finish. Good job for you, Mason.